movie about Indian women and ISIS sparks controversy. The Bollywood film The Kerala Story, directed by uh, Sidip, Sidip So Sen has sparked controversy by portraying the southern Indian state of Kerala as a haven for converting Hindu women into Islamic terrorism. (laughs) Sen said it was based on a real life information and events. However, no evidence has been provided. In the trailer, the woman claimed that 32,000 girls like her were quote unquote buried in the deserts of Syria and Yemen. She states that a dangerous game is being played where ordinary girls are converted to Islam and then recruited by the terrorist group in Kerala. She tearfully pleads, will nobody stop them? After the trailer's release, there was a backlash in the Southern parts of India. The film has been accused of spreading false information, defaming the state's reputation, and even discrediting Indian intelligence agencies. In reality, there are only four to six known cases of Keralite women converting to Islam and traveling to join ISIS. Overall, there are roughly only 200 Indians in, throughout the country who have joined the terrorist group since 2016. After the trailer was released, some right-wing political figures accused the heavily left-leaning state of being a breeding ground for Islamic terrorism. This is just Hindutva versus left-leaning people over Islam, isn't it? And Kerala being a left-leaning part of the country is part of the country that Hindutva hate. Okay, because Kerala is one of the most prosperous like it's one of the most well off in terms of quality of life states in the country and bjp didn't win like a single seat in the state during recent elections and they have the highest rates of literacy and they have they they have the highest life expectancy and kerala also has a more of a muslim population than the rest of india so according to the 2011 indian census throughout the national average of the Muslim population is around 14%. In Kerala, the percentage of Muslims is like 26%. So almost double the national average, right? So they have more predominantly Muslim than other parts of the country. And um, what's so funny though, Armin, think about this figure. So in the trailer, this actress is like 32,000 girls have been taken and they're dying in Syria and Yemen. Is no one going to stop them? But this number, 32,000. 32,000. If you you know anything about ISIS. (laughs) Yeah, Armin, talk to to us about why this 32,000 is a little bit funny if you know anything about ISIS. Well, because I'm assuming you're referring to the membership of ISIS, the total number of ISIS members that at its peak was around 40,000. So if this number is accurate, the 30,000, ISIS was 75% women from Kerala. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's news to me. That's news to me. Where did they get 32,000? What is it with Indian propaganda that they make the numbers always such that, that nobody can believe it? It's pretty Hindutva. You know, make make the propaganda in a way that people are like oh maybe you always like shoot yourself in the foot with the with the numbers that you come up with people are like okay this is obviously nonsense this is obviously bs so 32000 <laughs> yeah <laughs> somehow throughout the past many years of dealing with isis we are only now realizing that it was almost entirely keralite women who converted from hinduism we're just discovering this now so <laughs> By the way, Aksimaran, who's a Hindutva, is also showing his Hindutva leanings by saying He's shitting on Kerala. Kerala. <laughs> by shitting on Kerala in the live chat. Right. So you can expect that, guys. Like um Hindutva, they hate Kerala, and also there's this also a perception, uh, some sometimes reality, that by right-leaning Hindutva people in India, that the leftists um kind of encourage and promote Muslims and make excuses for their crimes there, right? Islamist leftism. Islamist leftism, yeah. Um, Which is sometimes true, but not to the point that, not to the extreme levels that Hindutva tell you, right? So there's always like some grains of truth 
mixed with a, mm -hmm. like a ton of bullshit, right? Yeah. Um, there's also like it's there's a lot of communism in Corella, which is pretty interesting. But anyways, yeah. so the way that they got this thirty two thousand number, I actually looked into this. So I can't. So basically, the director of this movie pulled it from the fact that many years ago, like the chief minister at the state of the state at the time mentioned once that like something like 2600 girls convert to hinduism like in 2006 and so he's like oh okay if that's the annual number then extrapolate that over 10 years it would be like 32,000. but th there's so much that's wrong about this on so many different levels one even if we take what he was referring to, that statistic was just about women that convert to Islam, not women it's who the convert same to thing, Islam Susie. and join ISIS. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing for Hind for a lot of Hindus, but that's the same. You join Islam, I guess you're ISIS now. <laughs> and now you're going to go leave the country and go travel to ISIS. Like, what? I'm okay. Syria, yeah. <laughs> okay, as, so every that, Muslim, that... as every Muslim does. As every Muslim that, does. That's hey, point like, one about why this is bs point two is that if you go back and look at th what that quote was at the time that person that government official is simply saying that that happened during that year he's not saying that this is an annual figure so it doesn't even work either way and the funniest thing is to me is that people who have analyzed ISIS actually say that, so overall there are roughly about only 200 known Indians who left the country to go fight and join ISIS. And the vast majority of ISIS fighters being from, I think like uh, Saudi Arabia, um, like Chechnya, a few other re regions that I can't quite remember off the top of my head. So. What's so interesting, though, is, okay, so of the percentage that we know are, came from Kerala, it was like maybe 20, 25%. But with this, these 200 people that did go join ISIS, when you think about the total population of India and the total population of Muslims in India, which is more than the populations of several countries combined, just from this religious minority, the fact that only 200 joined isis actually shocks analysts analysts ask the question why didn't more join because there's something right, right. different about indian muslims clearly Proportion <laughs> yeah so proportionally less muslims from india join isis than other islamic countries so indian muslims are relatively more progressive than muslims in other countries that's what you're saying I wouldn't. Okay, progressive seems like a strong word. Relatively, there's, yeah. Where there, there's oh. there's there's like different things going on. Like, I don't know. People in India will talk about how like the idea of shirk isn't as much as big of a deal depending on what area you're in because of obviously the cultural closeness to Hinduism and stuff like this. So there there is different stuff, and obviously a lot of Islamic extremism does happen in India. I mean, just like look at Kashmir, okay, especially in the 90s, Jesus. And then also the recent beheading that happened of the guy who supported Nupur Sharma, you know, because of the blasphemy, blah, blah, blah. So these incidents do happen. But what I find so interesting is that people actually ask the question of like, what is India doing differently that they didn't have more people join? I had never thought about it like that. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. Um... Maybe the fact that they're a minority rather than a majority of the country makes a difference. Um, Harris is Harris Sultan is in the live chat. Harris Sultan hi. is saying hi, Harris. Fifty-three people watching, yet only thirty-three likes. Come on, guys, hit the like button. Yes, guys, people, hitting the like button like button doesn't cost you anything, and it helps the channel grow. So please uh, consider hitting the like button. It really helps us out. Um, again, this is the kind of stuff that you don't see other places cover. So, um, you know, most other places don't cover. So if you're interested oh, in wait. news coverage like this, yeah. Horus is saying they are. I think referring to me saying that there's something different. They are. There was a Pew survey on Indian Muslims last year. I was shocked to see the results. You guys should cover it. They are far less Islamic than Pakistanis. I mean, that's not surprising. 
um, Kashmiri Muslims are an exception. Also true. I think I know what survey you're talking about, Horace. Like, they asked, it was a survey of Indian religiosity in general, and they asked a question where they, like, where they asked Muslims, Indian Muslims, if they, something if they, like, believe in more than one god or something, and some actually said yes, but they still said that they were Muslim. Some, some, I can't remember. That, that was a different, that was a different, I think, like, I think Harris is referring to the one that was telling people if they believe in uh, corporal punishments, if they believe that the death penalty for apostates, um, relatively mm. Indians. No, but that Indians. didn't come out last year. Oh, yeah. This, okay. this one that I'm talking about but, came out more recently, but I, I'm, I think I'm getting the details wrong. But Horace, yeah. please send that to me if, um, if you still have it. Um, Ah, okay, yeah. and he's agreeing. I did. I am thinking about the right one. Awesome. Thank you. Um, wait, but can um, in the twenty percent? Uh, look at this. Something like twenty percent of Muslims didn't even believe in an afterlife. What the hell? I mean, I don't want to take fear anybody, but I'm going to take fear twenty percent of Muslims in <laughs> India. Like, I probably <laughs> like they just take fear themselves. Like, you're not really a, like guys. This is. Not believing in afterlife puts you out of the fold of Islam, doesn't it? They're not even Muslim anymore. If you don't believe in afterlife, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, what? I mean, if you think, is is that a central tenet that falls with outside the creed of Islam? Because, like, in Catholicism, like the Nicene Creed lays out very clearly the prerequisites to being a Catholic. You have to believe in the resurrection of Christ, that Jesus is the one and only Son of God, you know, who's come back to save us and we can only find salvation through there, Like, there's many different levels of criteria to fit the qualification of being a Catholic and holding that belief. Okay, but it so, doesn't. Yep. Yeah, like, so I, if you take the Shahada, it's just like, oh, Allah is the only God and Muhammad is his prophet. Like, well, I mean, I would consider you a Muslim if you say take the Shahada and believe in Muhammad and believe in the Quran, okay? But based on many as Muslim scholars, you have to believe in the seven articles of faith to be a Muslim. And one of the articles of faith is belief in the afterlife. So based, oh, on, most main, <laughs> based on most mainstream Islamic scholars, if you don't believe in afterlife, I, mean, I will still call you a Muslim, but based on mainstream Islam, you are now out of the fold of Islam, and you are no longer a Muslim if you don't believe in Islam. Okay. You have to believe in angels. You have to believe in afterlife. Anyways, like this whole thing. Um. Well, thank you for clarifying that for uh, me who don't know these things. Wait, if you scroll down, I just want to watch a little bit of the trailer because it's one of the most overdramatic things I've ever seen. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Some... But I want to read this comment first about liking. Um, don't know about say good point even if you hate watch you should upvote to continue to get this sweet sweet news yes if, if you don't like us if you don't like me and Susie, but you enjoy hating us while, while watching, <laughs> okay um, keep us running by liking this video or disliking yeah you could dislike as well anyways let me play no no don't i don't want to play the al jazeera one because um it's oh, not people as good. Will flip. If we scroll down, yeah. I think we have another. Also, Hendutva will get, but whenever we do Al Jazeera, a whole bunch of I know. Hindutva, I don't like Hindutva. the way that Al Jazeera covered it, actually. But oh, that's okay. a different story. Hold on, let me do full screen. How do I do full screen? I have to watch it on Twitter to do full screen. It's so yeah. stupid. Um, it's so dramatic. Okay, okay. This is going to be good. This is going to be good, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you have the idea, right? Titles. Look, okay, okay, we're not gonna translate the subtitles, but like, just listen to the the emotion in her voice. It tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> okay. okay. Mera naam Shalini Unni Krishnan tha. Main nurse ban ke logon ko sab karna chahta. Ab main Fatima ba hu. Ek ISIS terrorist. In Afghanistan jail. Or may Akeli Nayo. Mary Jesse thirty two thousand girls convert hook is Syria or Yemen ki Registan with Dafan Hojaki. Thirty two thousand, and we're just hearing about it now. That's a dangerous kill, child, right? Air Lama. How will be Kuleam? We need okay, Kasi. Yeah, Mary Kahan. 
ये है उन बत्तीस हजार लड़कियों की कहानी दिस इज दरला स्टोरी Thirty. I can't believe they're saying that with a straight face. <laughs> okay, I know. Like I, right now, in my mind, I'm running an alternative universe where, like, actually, ISIS was Indian convert women this whole time. <laughs> Maybe it's a comedy. Like, what if this whole time it actually was true? Out of the forty thousand, it actually was. The, oh my um, god. Dorna has like emotional damage. <laughs> How did they why did they come up with numbers so big that nobody believes? Like if you want to do propaganda, like do so, do a number that is like people are like really that high but at least they could see themselves believing it. What would be enough if you wanted to do propaganda like this, right? I would say like I don't know, 2000, which is yeah. ridiculously high. below five but people thousand. are like yeah be definitely be like i would lie if i wanted to lie i would see the country number. as big as india like actually a several thousand is more believable proportionally but this is just insane <laughs> maybe 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 when they were counting isis members which which went to up to 40k only maybe they weren't counting the women maybe they were like just counting the men <laughs> No the funny means... thing is that um so this film is like now getting into legal trouble like there are people trying to get the film board to not show it and you know trying to not have it propagated and there are actual government ministers coming out and saying that this is going to spread hate and that this isn't what our state is for so stop putting this on us and blah 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 so it'll be interesting to see how this goes forward but If it does come out, you know Armin and I are going to watch this because our impression of the Kashmir files, like watching the Kashmir files with Armin was one of the funniest things I've ever done. Within the first 15 minutes, just the cold open, the cold open of the movie was the most nonsensical thing I've ever seen. We hadn't even finished the cold open and Armin's like there's so many plot holes I've already given up. <laughs> it was so bad. Like less than 15 <laughs> minutes. It was insane. <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. Okay. You no, know, like okay, even it was just like it was just like a bad movie. It was just It was horrible. It was just a bad it was, movie. It was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It was so hard to keep watching. <laughs> It's so I was, long. I was like face palming the entire time. Like, <laughs> like, oh like every God, time are we going to keep watching this he's like, "Yeah, I guess so." <laughs> it was like painful. <laughs> every time I thought this movie is like ridiculous, then something happened. I was like, "What the What the f? Get my best-selling book Why There Is No God for free. Click on the link for it in the description.